Welcome to the intro to ecology. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about me and how I got involved in um, science. I was actually a wildlife biology major. Um, I, w I knew in um, like eighth grade what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. So I grew up in on Long Island, right? So I grew up right about there, not in the water, but in a town called Lindenhurst, which is that red dot. So you can see how far away it is from where we live now. So just think about this, right? So my town was like 3.8 square miles and there's like almost 30,000 people living in that little area right now. The mayor right now is a guy named Mike Lavarada. He's actually a buddy of mine. There's Mayor Mike. Okay. So I grew up like basically in a city, but you know, we called it the suburbs. And that was my address, 580 North Kings Avenue. And I um, went all the way to the University of Montana. Now it's a seven hour flight. Um, when I was a kid, you had to fly to Minneapolis, which is here, catch a connecting flight. And then I would l land like four or five times um, before I got to Missoula. And Missoula is like a bowl. It's surrounded by mountains. And the plane used to like circle and then dive. I mean, I just remember people barfing and bags next to me and stuff. It was uh, bizarre. Your parents might know who this person is. There was this actress named Andy Mc McDowell, I believe her name was. She lived in Missoula, Montana, and she was on the David Letterman show describing how horrible it was to land uh, in that airport. Um, I only came home at Christmas and uh, summer. That was it. Because um, that was a long way away. It's still a long way away today. It's, I don't know, 36-hour drive, it says here, depending on what route you take. Um, that's the University of Montana. So it's a beautiful campus. I went to the School of Forestry, which was established in 1913. Its building was actually behind this building. That building right there was the first building. Um, the building... That was the second building. Uh, Janine Rankin building was where that pine tree to the right was. They knocked that down. Um, here's what the School of Forestry looked like when I went. It's probably still there. Here's what it looks like today. I think I got the short end of the stick. But um, I don't know. I'm kind of old school. I, I like that a little bit better. I'm sure I'd like that as well. How do they heat that thing in the winter is what I want to know. So anyway... Um, we had a really interesting program, and one of the things that we had to do, well, one of the first things that we had to do is we had to read this book, the Sands County Almanac. And one of the reasons we did was um, a lot of the stories in here changed the way that people thought about nature. And the one story that really changed people's beliefs and understanding was this short story called Thinking Like a Mountain. And I always begin ecology lesson with this short story. I actually um, started with this preface. If there's one thing that I'm attached to in teaching, um, it's this story. So if you don't like it, um, please don't tell me. I think this is the only thing, if you tell me you don't like this short story, that I would kind of get offended by. It would actually hurt my feelings. And it's really hard to hurt my feelings because I don't really think I have any. So, um, that's it. We're going to start this lesson off with Thinking Like a Mountain. This is a copy of the book that I have. That's what it looks like today, or at least what it looked like when I went to college. The gentleman on the left is Aldo Leopold um, writing. Sad story about him, and you'll learn it when you watch the next video, which is on the book, Sands County Almanac, is um, he, his book was finally published in 1949, and uh, I think he died before the first printed copy came out, which is kind of sad. Um, so he didn't really ever know how much he's changed the way people think. So that's the introduction to ecology, and I hope that was helpful.